It's Friday. <laughs> Hello, I'm Natalie, and this is So Hungry Hippie Friday Live Sesh. Welcome to the fun. Hi, Michelle, Adela, Jessica, good morning. Carrie, Karen, Joyce, Melissa, Elizabeth B., Ella Lou. Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. Dusty's here. Woo -woo. Irene, Teresa, Beth, thank you, Beth. Donnell, Mary G, Lynette, Tony, Mimi, Sherry, Susan, Kat, Jean, Kathy, Hetty, Sandy, Len, hello. Thank you so much. I needed you all here today. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got some good stuff to show you. Mariana, is that, is that my Mariana? Mariana that made me the sweatshirt, perchance? If you don't know, my friend Mariana out of Colorado made me this. She's under Postcard Quilts on Instagram, and she, yes. she does clothing like this. How serendipitous that I'm wearing this today. It's very chilly, but thank goodness we have some sun rays shining down today. It's going to be a great day. We have a dinner date tonight with Dustin and Scott. I'm so happy. It's going to be a great Friday. Vicky's in the back getting your orders out. Ramel's over here. He's mic'd up. And I told Ramel, you all are demanding that he get another camera and it displays him when he's talking. So tell me in the comments. Once we get a bigger place. No, no, no. That's got to happen now. You're just going to mount it in front of you. Uh, and we want to see you when you're talking. Mm, you're so adorable. Mm, they want to see you, Ramel. I don't know. See, it's in the comments. Yes, they want to see you. Yes, exactly. It'll be Sometimes like... Sometimes I have a bad hair day. Oh, my what gosh. What about those days? You can't have a bad hair day. Everyone's just looking at your beard anyways. Your beard. Um, like, remember David Letterman and how... Is he still on? Or did he retire? He retired. So his show and how he'd have his person. You but know, then he, think, he made a special on HBO. Yeah, I think I saw that. I think I saw some of the special anyways. <laughs> yeah, see, Hetty wants to see you. That's what beanies are for. Great, I'll, great comment, Mary. I'll just yes. put a... Dustin, even, <laughs> yes, Ramel on cam, all caps. Even, what, e even when, when we're just smoldering hot in the summer, I'll just be wearing Have a, a beanie on. <laughs> it's a vibe. It's a look. <laughs> You know, my, my, I got my hair cut yesterday from my girl Maggie in Monona, and I love her to death. She's so hip, and she had a beanie on, and she said she'd had it, been wearing it all week because she just couldn't find the energy to <laughs> put energy into her hair, and she looked so good. I'm like, you look great with that on. Uh, yeah, or a Bardo bucket hat, says Angie. Exactly, Ramel, you need a Bardo bucket hat on. See? Yeah, manly bucket hat. Is that, is you that possible? Your, you can sew a manly bardo bucket hat. Okay. On let me camera. Think of, How about uh, that? Let me think about what what it can look like. <laughs> I have to design it in my head. Biker skull cap in the summer. There Ooh, we go. That's yes. cool. That's awesome. Yes, Cindy. I'm so grateful the sun is out. Um, it it just makes a difference. Just makes a difference. I'm ready for spring. Okay, I've got some good stuff to show you. I'm thinking of where we need to start. First off, yes, we're proceeding ahead with our giveaway of the Juki Machine April 10th. It'll be a special show. Don't miss it. I'll, I'll um, add some info in in the emails this weekend, hopefully. I need you to write that down on a post-it. <laughs> so that is happening. Um, tonight, oh, I think she scheduled it for earlier. VIP members, I'm going to have uh, the email today will have some special restocks in it, so you get first dibs. Also, I did restock two of the matchups this morning that you all were emailing me about. So Natalie's Choice and then the Spice one. Now, just know that the Spice is pre-order because I placed my order for the fabric additional 10 bolts this morning. So I'll probably get it next week, like Wednesday or Thursday-ish from Art Gallery. And then I'll quickly, me and my staff, we will whack up those bolts for you for the matchup. So it won't ship, you know, today or Saturday or Monday, but it'll ship very soon. And I just want you to get in there. And um, 
Okay, so those are relisted, yes. Oh, that's well, Michelle, can I just say I'm happy to be watching the live. I needed this positive distraction. Oh, yeah. First tutorial without Buddy there. Yeah, I hear you. You know, it's, it's rough out there. So I like having a place where we can all come together and think positively and just move forward as best we can. You know, I've shared with you guys before that I have these um, things that I do throughout the day to stay positive, and I say them out loud. I say things like, I'm getting better every day. Every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. And that can apply to so many different things. I'm trying to heal my psoriasis from the inside out, and so that's why I started doing that and saying it out loud. But now it's going to apply to everything from business to family stuff to relationships to things I want to do for myself, like daily reading time and you know taking some time for a sauna visit. And I don't know. We so I say that out loud all the time. We haven't watched like a show that we like to watch together in quite a while. Yeah, we haven't had time. So we need to make time. And that's, that's important, right? To, yeah. To take some break time. So I want to share this book with you that I just got last week. And I've been reading it. Ramel will put the link in the comments for you. Uh, it's very old. It was first published in 19... I don't know, like 1952, not very old. If you were born in the 50s, you're not very old. That's not what I mean. I just mean it's not a new book. It's been out a long time. It was republished in the 80s. I remember seeing it in the 80s. And so I got another copy and I've been going through it. It's called The Power of Positive Thinking. And it, it's a little bit, um, a little bit religious, but... I will say that's not me really, but I can apply it to work for me. So even though I think of um, the universe in general as a, you know, I mean, I guess that's like how I think of power. Um, I'm trying to harness that positive energy power for me inside and feel better about my day-to-day -day occurrences. And this is helping. It really is helping. So no matter what your belief system is, I think you can have it apply to you and maybe it'll help. Okay. I have another book. I have quite a few um, books that I will reference now and then whenever I need kind of that jolt of positive energy. And it's really, he talks about how it all stems from your belief in yourself. And that's why I think it really just resonates for me is because no matter what happens, I still have that core belief in myself. And the other day I posted in the makers group about your output doesn't determine your self-worth. And I really truly believe that. And I want you all to take that and meditate on it. Think about that and know it and believe in yourself because it doesn't matter where your ability is. You are amazing and awesome. And you need to remember that because that will fuel your self-confidence and allow you to improve your skill set without that added pressure of perfection. Because that's where a lot of us, I think, get tripped up is we feel like we're not going to do it good enough or we're going to disappoint someone. And so then we don't even try. And that's awful. Just, you know, as, as people often say, don't have expectations unless you want to be disappointed. <laughs> it took me a long time to learn that because I had high expectations for my friends. And I have, in the last five years, realized that's too much pressure on them. And so don't have expectations. Just let it be, like John Lennon said, let it be and roll with it, right? So there's, I'll get off my soapbox now, but if, if you need some of that, you know, I'm going to share, that kind of stuff is really important for me, and so I wanted to share that with you. Yeah, when we put love into everything, everything is expressing love. Exactly. I love it. I love it. So many people are hurting and feel trapped. So true. You know, this morning I walked Tori outside, and I... I'm always amazed at the number of people who won't look at me 
as we pass on the sidewalk. And it, it's just shocking to me because I grew up in a small town, small, you know, country, I'm country <laughs> through and through. And everybody says hi or at least smiles as you pass when you, even in the grocery store or on the sidewalk if you're taking a walk or whatever. And sometimes when I go back to my hometown, Freeport, Illinois, I, I just love how people treat each other. Even if you go in for a, a, an appointment at the doctor, they're so kind. They're so caring. And I missed that as I've moved to bigger cities because there's not that level of connection. And so even in my small town here on the outskirts of Madison, this morning I was like, I wonder what has happened to that guy that he couldn't even look at me as we passed on the sidewalk two feet from each other. You know, it's, yeah. it's kind of odd. Like what's happening in the world? It should be, we're in the Midwest nice. We're in the Midwest. Like, let's say hi. That's what we do here. Yeah. What's going on? So, I thought about going, hi! Scared <laughs> the crap out of them. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, I just, you know, but then again, I said, Natalie, don't have that expectation, right? And so, I let it go. But I think we all need to do better and try harder to... Um, make connection. You know, a smile goes a long way. And I noticed, you know, we've taught our kids to hold the door for people. I've noticed that slipping lately. I am not hurt if a man wants to hold a door open for me. Thank you very much. Yes, I appreciate it. And I will say thank you and look him in the eyes. Thank you. I miss that kind of stuff. That That's the part that I, I look for. I'm like, yeah. I'm waiting oh, for that. Did thank you, you say thank you? I'm going to shut it. <laughs> <laughs> That, my kids have heard me say stuff like, you're welcome, <laughs> when someone doesn't say thank you. I don't care. Yes, me too, LLU. Like, if somebody, if we meet at a stop sign and they let me go, I'm always like, <laughs> always. You never know. Let people in the traffic. Like, that's not going to slow me down, one car. Come on in. I live in Scottsdale. We say hello to everyone. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, I, I sometimes say thank you for stuff they shouldn't say thank you for. It just comes out. <laughs> I just, I love that, Ramel. That's like when we lived in England and everything is sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Cut me. Go ahead. <laughs> Get in line. Pop in there. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, I do that, Fancy Nancy, as well. Like in the grocery store, and I have to get something or walk in front of them. I always say excuse me, and I tell my kids acknowledge people, say excuse me, say please, say thank you. Manners go a long way. So I don't know how I got here talking about all that. But yeah, I have these thoughts. And so um, I just want to, let's just try to spread more kindness, patience, and um, love. Because <laughs> people need it. If they're being mean, I, I think they need it. They need it even more than you think. Okay, on that note, can I show you my coulettes that I made? So this is this pattern. It's so fast. I showed you this pattern a while ago. I can get more of these in. Right now I think we have like nine or ten in stock, but I can order more of them. This comes from Sweden. Is that on uh, live right now? I didn't put it in the product feed actually. But it's been in the store for a little while. They're called the Nini Kulaks, and I made them from this rayon. And you can see them here. It's too cold for me to put them on, but they are so flowy and wonderful. And look at that waistband. I just love it. And I even put a, a tag on the outside on the back. So I will be wearing this these very soon this summer. It's by Nini? Nini, Nini. like an N. Mimi, and it's by Named. You know you have a Mimi also? Mimi, it's Pam. I know. Love her. Uh, so, yeah, very fast. I will say the sizing is generous. So if you're, if you're on the fence, like between a size, do the smaller one. Okay? I probably should have done a smaller one, but I like pants um, flowy and I don't care if they're loose. In the rayon, even if you do too big of a size, it still looks good. So you're safe. You know, I would say 
pay more attention to the size if you're doing a boxy or fabric like a quilting cotton, which you could, you could do with these. Um, the linen rayon is not in yet, that Brussels washer, but it's on the way. I ordered so many colors. You guys are going to just love it. I love Brussels washer linen. My rep was like, are you sure you want this much? This is a huge order. <laughs> and I said, oh yeah, because we're doing it. This summer, we're going to be clothes making machines. And I'm going to give you confidence because the patterns that I pick are not tightly tailored you will be able to sew these. I don't care where you are on your garment journey. If you're brand new, you just got to believe you can because then, then you'll do it. Okay, so that is there. You know, as I talk about things, I should move it to a pile. Okay, the next up, this is listed in the shop. We got these really cool panels and I love steampunk. I love Halloween and I know it's early, but I thought, who cares? Let's just get ready. And uh, I, I have these panels in stock. They are listed. What we got is what we have. That's, that's it. So what I would do, I have a free pattern. I think it's free or maybe it's three dollars, something silly. Um, a scrap buster quilt pattern in my shop and it's 10 inch squares with sashing. And so you could totally Cut out these squares, put the sashing, and you'll have a quilt top in a day. So easy. Get a couple of panels and you'll have a full quilt in no time. I love it when we do that. You can even use the, this, um, this print on the side down here. You could cut into that for sashing if you wanted to. Sky's the limit. Do what you want. But yeah, I love that stuff. So those are up. We also have listed Mimi G's Make It, Make it Yours with Mimi G books on pre-order. They'll be in next week. So if you want one, go ahead and get one. I had, I am applying the VIP discount to this because it's, it's a more expensive book, but it's worth it. I've been looking at this every night. I love it. Full size pattern pieces. And she shows you how to make the looks pertain to you and your taste. And she has inspiration pics in here. If you don't follow Mimi G on Instagram, you should. She's adorable. And she's a woman-owned business, Latina. And uh, I saw her speak in real life. And she is an amazing human being. So... A sewist guide to a custom wardrobe. I love it. I love that it's hardcover too. I just feel like hardcover books last longer. So those are ready to go. All right. Next up, this item is not listed yet because I wanted to talk to you about it first. I made this bag the other day. Isn't it so cute? However, I, I want to tell you about this. So it's this kit which is not in my shop yet. It's a June Taylor kit. And what you do is the fleece has lines on it and dashed lines and you follow the instructions and you sew on the lines and then you cut out where you're supposed to cut out and then put the bag together. I used this custom canvas that I bought on Spoonflower, very hippie, very retro in mushrooms and flower print. And I'm going to create a few kits with this fabric for you. However, I want you to not do the handles like I did because down here I had to cut the handles. I could not get my machine to sew over this bottom. There's just too, it's too thick, even with my Juki. So in the pattern, there's an option to make your handles start here and do this. And that's what I suggest you do if you buy this kit from me. I'm going to have this fabric for you. I'm going to have this as your lining. It's the Ruby Star lining. I added binding here to cover the zipper because they give you this special kind of zipper. And it's black. And I didn't want a black zipper showing. So I covered it with just a top layer of binding and fabric. You can do that or not. It's up to you. Um, otherwise, this went to, together very easily. I think it would be a nice little lunch bag. 
It comes with this plastic insert that you can cover with fabric if you want to. And it just helps it keep its shape. So super cute. I'm only going to have a few of these because I think if you get this kit, you just need to have some experience under your belt with thick layers. You want to have a mallet or a hammer on hand. And even though the skill level is easy, which yes, I agree with, you're going to need a machine that can handle layers and one with a good motor. So in other words, a metal, a heavy metal machine like a Juki, like a Bernina 1008. Um, let's see, what else is there? You know what I'm saying, right? You don't want to use your quilt, quilting machine to sew this bag. I just want that up front because I don't want you to be frustrated. So when I list these, that information will be in the description as well to remind you. And remember, on the right side of every listing, you can pull down that description box and read in case it's not already showing. All right, so we just have a few of those and they will be available soon. We have listed this wide back. It's called Gradients. This is listed in the shop. I use wide back all the time for bag making or clothing. I just think it's fabulous and it works. So that is listed. I've also begun bringing in a few batiks, the ones that I like and that I feel like I will use. I did a pair of rose pants in batik and I really like them. So this one is a quilting cotton feel. Batiks are unique because it's um, a wax print that they're doing. So it's not, nothing is perfection. It's a very boho vibe, very boho look. So this one is listed in the shop. Um, Karen, that fabric is not going to be available because I can't, I can't get it wholesale. So, um, but you can get it on Spoonflower if you do a search for like mushroom hippie prints, I think is what I put in there. It's pretty expensive. Yes, Paula, that's like a, it's like a navy blue, deep, a deep blue. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the color of my navy blue moon glow more or less so some people think that i shouldn't call it navy because it's not dark enough to me it's it's navy blue <laughs> like how what let's i don't know whatever <laughs> yeah batiks are or batiks are usually a tighter weave than regular yeah i so they feel stiffer but once you wash them they soften up quite a bit so I use them, I've used them for garments and bags and head wraps and all kinds of things. They're easy. To me, it's like sewing quilting cotton, the same thing. Okay, a new pattern in the shop is the Slip, in, slip On Susie. I should have worn mine today. This is for knits, stretch knits, which I have black. It's not listed yet, and I'm getting prints in. Nothing too crazy, nothing too juvenile. But uh, this is an awesome pattern. It is so fast. I think I made this dress in an hour last summer. And I love a wrap. It's a faux wrap, faux wrap dress. So number one, it's flattering for all body types. Number two, you're not having to wrap, so you don't have to worry about any of that. You just seriously slip it on and go. It's amazing. I love it. The cap sleeve, I love it. So we have both size options, 4 to 16 and 18 to 30. And everyone will look great in this. If you want to lengthen it, you can. What were you going to ask me, Ramel? I was going to say, is that Natalie fast or that's fast? Fast, fast. Because Natalie fast is like two seconds. Oh. No, I, I mean, I think it will be a fast make for anyone. Always the first time through will take you the longest. That's just how it is. But once you sew one, you should just sew five more because you're going to love it. I love wearing this in the summer. I usually pair it with capris or like my ethyl pants. You know, I often will not wear a dress without pants underneath or leggings. That's just who I am. 
Uh, but for those of you with gorgeous legs, which is probably the most of you, you can wear this. It's, it hits at the knee or just below it. You could lengthen or shorten at will. And you could just wear that in the summer with your flip-flops. How cute will you be? So there's that. Yay. Uh, did I tell you scrappy boxes are restocked? We have quite a few of these. So this is a pound of, of fabric and smaller pieces than the snarky scrappy bags. But they're all in here folded all cute and you're just getting a smorgasbord of different substrates as that you can play around with and um, prints and you know anything we can save from the landfill. Some people come in and just ask me for these because they love doing post postage stamp quilts or little pouches. You know, it just, they all are different. None are the same because scraps don't last around here. Some will have some solids, some won't. It just depends. So those are relisted. And they come in these cute bakery boxes. I hope you like that. And I made that sticker. <laughs> scrappy boxes? Yeah, scrappy boxes. Uh, let's see what else I have restocked Kai 28 millimeter rotaries and I got in the refill blades. I love this, especially when I'm cutting out uh, pattern pieces for garments because you can get into tight curves. Usually the tight tighter curves are around the arm side and the neckline. So these are restocked just so you know. I, we just, we're down to our last pair of pinking shears here, but I have lots on the way. So hit that restock notification because I usually get my restocks pretty quickly for notions. And those will be restocking. The Teflon coated scissors will be restocking any day. And rotary blade refills. Uh, let's see, what else? Thread has, for the most part, restocked. And anything that's low, it's going to be restocked. Oh, I, I purchased the last bits of the Guterman packs, those bright colors, so those will be restocking soon. Oh, speaking of restocks, the square neck top restocked. This tutorial we did last June, and I linked it in the email last weekend again because we're coming up to warmer weather. It's an easy top to sew. I did a completely free a Sunday tutorial for you that you can watch as you're sewing it. I know you can do this. It's not complicated. You have a facing around that square neckline, but it's very simple to put in if you just have some patience and go through it. On the tutorial, I made mine from quilting cotton. That will give you a, a boxier top. If you want it to drape, you're going to want to make it out of rayon or linen or linen rayon like the Brussels washer, something with a little more give or drape, okay? But your first time through, maybe you make it out of muslin and you just get the technique down. I'm not opposed to that. I've done that. A lot of times for my toit or my toil, you know, my toit, which is your test sew of the garment. I'll make it out of a quilting cotton that is not precious to me. And then if it works out and looks okay, I can wear that. So I know I'm not the only one that does that. All right, how I ordered that top and I'm waiting for it to come. Thanks for the tutorial. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. Yay. Uh, we just got these in yesterday. These are Barbie zipper pulls, and I don't have many. Unfortunately, I got in on this by super late. Can you zoom in at all, Ramel? Yeah, I can. I might be able to get more of these. Bring it down a little bit. Okay. Oh, it's hard to see that. It's the original Barbie doll. You know, the one that's blonde with her cat eye sunglasses and the black and white swimming suit. And it attaches, this is like a, a tiny lobster clasp. And it just attaches to your zipper pull or wherever you want to put it. Maybe your coat. Yeah, Donna says, my Barbie. I had that one. Did you really, Betty? I, I 
I think she's so pretty. Um, where, what was I going to say with this? Oh, yeah. So right now we only have a few, but I already contacted my rep. There's a chance I can get more. A chance. So I'll try if you all like that. Okay. This kit, the Easy Does It kit, do you remember this? It was really popular and sold out twice. I have got, I think, about 25 left, and then it's gone. I can't get this fabric anymore. So this is an Easy Does It pattern from By Annie, and we give you everything you need in the kit, including soft and stable, and it's really quite easy. All you're doing is you're quilting your lining, soft and stable, and the top fabric, you quilt that whole panel, and then you do some cutouts and you put it together. And I will tell you, yes, there's binding, but if you don't wanna do the binding, then just don't. And pink, pink your edges and call it a day and keep it yourself. You don't have to do the binding if you're scared of it. However, I encourage you to do it if you're scared of it, because you, the more you do it, the easier it will become. And then you'll be a pro, okay? Mine is not perfect, and I don't care, because I will use this bag once my shop sample is, <laughs> once the kits sell out. I'm gonna take this home and use it, because she's pretty. It's a great little dot kit style, you know? Even as an organizer in your closet, maybe you put in your, your uh, lingerie, or <laughs> what else could you put in here? Your pantyhose, or maybe your feet are small and your shoe fit, it fits in here, your shoes. Mine don't. Couldn't you line it with vinyl and, and make it so you can put other stuff there? Well, Mel, we're not doing that. That is way, no, you cannot. Because in this pattern, you're quilting the layers. That's what makes it go together really quickly. It's a great idea, hon. But we're not going to do that okay. on this kit. We'll save that for a hungry hippie pattern, okay? Uh, okay. Because the technique is a little different. We don't want to complicate it and make it too hard for people, right? Sure. So stick to the kit. Trust the instructions on here. I made this one. I think I did a reel with this. If you want to see me making it on Instagram. I don't. It's not step-by-step step or anything. I can't do that. It's not my pattern. Um, but I showed... I showed it in fast time. Okay. Now, <laughs> I had a lot of emails about this snarky scrappy bag situation. I just want to say we sold a lot of these. There were a lot available. And I will be making more as we come down to end of bolts. So don't despair. More are on the way. And we'll relist as we fill them up. Okay. Uh, yeah. So don't worry. It's just, it's fun, but don't get worked up about it because more are on the way. <laughs> on that note, we are open tomorrow, 10 to 4, if you're local and you want to come see us. We're emptying out quite a bit fabric wise. Um, I've escalated the buying situation, so don't despair. A lot is coming in. I just never know when it's going to get here. You know, just like you guys don't know exactly when your package from us gets to you. I don't know exactly when I'll get the fabric in from the fabric houses. Uh, so on that note, for matchups next week, we will have lots of quantities, lots of quantities. Sometimes what, you know, I don't share everything about what's happening on the back end, but here's the situation with the live shows. We have to list these live shows at least two hours ahead of time or everything doesn't work technology wise. So I have 72 to, hours. It's supposed to be 72 hours. You see, Ramel yells at me every week. I do about this. because it's, it's what the, 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 the people on the back end of yeah. the, the website and, and e-commerce. Yeah. 
they have to review the items before posting. And make posting. sure I'm not selling illegal things, right? Yeah. I know, but the matchups, I never have it done 72 hours ahead. I, I know. Never, so, ever, ever. It won't happen. So sometimes it, that, hence... Unless y'all want to come work full time. Hence why we're... It happens the way it happens. But. Yeah, so usually I have those matchups up around 5 p.m. And then our show is at 7. And we're looking into a, a, a possibility if they're just unbuyable until 7 p.m. I don't know. I don't know if that if we can make that happen. We do so we much. We did that by, by mistake one time. Well, there's just so much behind the scenes that you don't see and I don't want anything to break so I have heard you and yes I've escalated my buying to the point where my reps are like are you sure and I say yes so thank you for all the support thank you for the feedback the quantities will be much more but also get in there and get them if you want them because they go quick that's just I mean, we're lucky enough and fortunate enough that things are selling. And I'm very, very grateful. I say a grateful prayer every night for what you all have done for my situation and my family. I don't know if you all know my story. It's not really important. But I was an RN and worked. Um, I was in the Army as an RN, got out, worked the civilian side for quite a long time. I was used to making a certain amount of money, did, you know, trauma and step down ICU and surgery and all kinds of stuff. And then we got orders for Ramel for England and I couldn't work in England. And it was really rough. We were on WIC. We could not afford to live there. And I remember going to the grocery store and having to pinch pennies. I washed out my Ziploc bags. I didn't want people to come visit us because we couldn't afford to feed them. We couldn't afford anything. <laughs> Did I tell you, did you tell me it was during the housing crisis too? And that was during the housing crisis. And yeah. our house in San Antonio, like, not, it didn't go into foreclosure, but no. it, it was close. I mean, yeah, we couldn't sell it, it was really rough for a long time. And so I am very cognizant of that. That's probably why I'm so into thrift, because I had to dress my kids with thrifty clothes from Airman's Attic. And I, could not buy clothes. I could not, you know, that's how I learned to bleach my hair and cut my own hair is because I couldn't afford anything. Ramel Salon. Ramel Salon. Taught Ramel how to bleach my hair. Um, so now we're in a position, you know, running this business and it's much better, but it's still, uh, I don't know, everything is risky and we're just trying to be smart. And on that note, we're going to be moving. Most likely. Very soon. Not very soon. Summertime. Summertime? Summertime. So <laughs> things are ramping up. We're growing exponentially. Things are on fire. It's so exciting. I'm so grateful to be here and to be able to do this and to be able to employ people and help other families out, not just mine, and to spread joy. That's all I want to do in life is make people happy. And um, I think for the most part, we're doing really well. So thank you for that. <laughs> Come on, let's have a hug. Let's hug it out. This is Vicki. <laughs> yes. So there we are, right? Right. We're moving on up. <laughs> So, um, yeah, thanks for being here with us. And we're only, we're, we're going up, we're going forward, and it's going to be amazing. There's so much happening that we can't wait to share when it's fully signed on the dot official, okay? <sighs> you didn't know that was coming this Friday, huh? <laughs> Not far away, Fancy Nancy. Not far away. So... Um, that is in the works. I'm reading all your comments here. We're going to have, uh, like, I mean, this new space that we're probably going to be in is going to have retreat space. 
It's going to have classes, space, and it's not far from here. Yeah, it's so awesome. Far, yeah, it'll, it'll be a, a nice, it'll be a nice place for everyone. It's um, it's like six times as big as the one we're in now, so it's it's pretty cool. I'm excited. I wish I had this for electronics. Maybe we can rent this for computer Ramel's computer store. <laughs> And Ramel Salon. And Ramel Salon. <laughs> Get your hair done and your laptop fixed at the same time. There you go. <laughs> hey, that might be a business model. Yeah. All right. So, all right. I think that's it. What else? Do you have any questions? How comfortable are the Kai pinking shears for a lefty? So, oh, I forgot to say that. So, I've been searching for Kai lefty scissors. I couldn't find the pinking ones in the left hand. But I am going to stock the left hand garment scissor, which is, well, it's not just for garments, but it's the long eight inch scissor and it's a true lefty, meaning the holes are switched, you know, true lefty. I understand the lefty situation. My dad's left handed. We're going to be stocking those scissors. And, you know, a lot of scissors say both handed ambidextrous and they're not. So I bought the true lefty shears i am still searching for a lefty pinking shear so yeah so there's that speaking of retreats yeah donnell the one in october was canceled the hotel couldn't make it happen for us correctly so that one is canceled but in 2025 it's happening it's happening so let's see yeah i know cindy maybe we just all need to write them a letter and say can you just make some lefty pinking shears Ugh. Could you please show the coral webbing next to the Diva soft vinyl to see if it matches? Coral webbing. Will you hand me a coral webbing, Vicki? What's the Diva soft vinyl? Thanks. Diva, Diva. What's Diva? Maybe you meant Pink Nebula, Susan? Is it? I don't know what Diva vinyl is. This is the pink nebula vinyl, and this is the coral webbing. What's, what, what could Diva be? Um, okay. This is, I think it's pretty close to watermelon. I think it could work with watermelon moon glow. Uh, and I, I know I need to get these webbings up today. That'll happen. Vicki, we're making that happen, mm -hmm. the webbings. What else do you have binding? Barb, we do have a whole bucket of binding and we'll try to get those up today as well because we have a lot. Someone yeah. Asked, uh, match, uh, last week, match up eight. Is it deal vinyl smooth or moon glow? It's a smooth vinyl. Uh, that was Michelle. Michelle. Yes, the black and white stripes, we're working on that today. Let me show you those real quick. So we have a number three and a number five size, and we're just gonna have the tapes available right now. And let me show you these overhead. These will be going up today as well. We've had to, I'm not, I don't know. I love these, but at the same time, I wish it was a little sharper. So I asked for cream and black, and you know, they did their best. But I'll put these at a little bit of a discount because even though they're workable and they look pretty good, they're not exactly what I had envisioned. So I'll get these up right after the show for you. Thanks for the reminder. Hot pink webbing next to the nebula. Yeah, I think, I think that would work. Hot pink or this one. Let's see. I almost like the pink glitter, Susan. The hot pink is okay, but... I think this one is more of the match, honestly. You see what I mean? Can you zoom in, Ramel? Yeah, I can. Um. Let me bring it down. Yeah, the hot pink glitter webbing is a match. Okay, you're welcome, Susan. Can I email to add to my order? Yes, Diane, just send it, send it to us ASAP and we'll put a note. Um, we can, we can do one of two things. You can purchase and... We can edit your bill and send you uh, uh, an invoice for the difference. And, yeah. yeah, what's probably best is if you, 
let me know what you want, and then I'll edit your order, and it will automatically send you an invoice for the difference. And once you pay that, it goes right on to your original order. That's probably best logistically wise, because our orders have just been <laughs> like trying this. To do, com com combine two orders is good trying to combine two different orders is very logistically difficult when we have multiple teams doing shipments now. Yeah. So, yeah. I always have to use 809 with final. No, Debbie, you can use whatever you want. I use SF-101. I use fusible fleece. I've used by any soft and stable. I, I've used 809. I've used what else? Um, all kinds of stuff. You can do different combinations. Sometimes I do a SF-101 and then a fleece on top. You can use anything. Be Beverly is asking, any of the wax canvas? Should be here soon, Beverly. Wax canvas should be here soon. They told me to expect around April 15th. I'm hoping that that's going to be quicker than that, but that's what we're kind of shooting for. Uh, let's see. And also my printed vinyls. Will the coral vinyl be restocked, Teresa? Probably not. It didn't really do very well. But I'll, I'll look into, that's, you know, I did get the coral webbing for you. I think we have some coral quilting cottons coming in, too. Leanne, can you do my, learn to do my nails? <laughs> <laughs> For a nail salon. <laughs> Seriously, that would be fun. Uh, can you learn to do nails? Because I just picked all mine off. <laughs> I put soft vinyl onto webbing for a strap. It's beautiful. Oh, I love that idea, Diane. Will you have the waxed canvas in Denver? No, Marianne, <laughs> I probably won't. Um, unless it comes in, I could probably bring samples. But I'm I'm bringing a lot to Denver. Are you going to be it? Are you going to be there? That'd be so fun. Yeah, Jean, we've got a lot of wax can. Um, Am I saying that right? Not wax canvas. We have waterproof canvas coming in. Mm. It's different. I'm going to try for Friday evening. I can't do the whole weekend. Oh, cool. I'd love to see you. Is the quilted bag on the website? Uh, we have a quilted pouch kit that's on the website. And if any say out of stock, we just re we have to make them and we can do it on the fly. So sign up for the alert and then I know how many we need to for sure make this weekend and we'll get them back up. All right, cool. Have I gotten everyone's question? If you asked it already and I didn't see it, can you post it real quick now? We've got about six minutes. Uh, I don't think waxed canvas is hard to sew on. I, it's, it's just got a texture. Is, and if you have a Teflon foot, I think you're fine. Oh, look, Elizabeth B. says wax canvas is easy to sew. What is the name? The kit bag, it's called uh, the Easy Does It Kit. It's, it's, um, if you look up kits, it's one of the first. Put kit in the search bar on SoHungryHippie.com. I have to add that back to the navigation, but it'll come right up. You'll see it. It looks exactly like this. These are forty-two ninety-five. These kits, and it has everything you need. You got some questions over here. Okay, what fabric did you use on your culottes? My culottes. These. This is the rayon that we have in stock. It's almost gone, but this is a rayon from Figo. That looks comfortable. Very comfortable. You might have to sew a pair, Ramel. Really. <laughs> When I use my regular sewing fit with any problems. I'm going to put some questions from uh, Facebook in. Okay, hurry, because the show's going to cut off in five minutes. What Denny year is? Um, 600, I believe. Okay, here's another one. Hi, Karen. Restock on Awesome Oval Kit. Yes, that's happening, Dodie. You, you, might, you might need to make some of those up tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, or no, they're already they're already filled. We have twenty because I found more patterns. So we have twenty on the awesome oval kit that's restocked. 
Are you going to do a tutorial on the oval bag? Yes, I am, Janice. I was going to film it today. I had something come up. So I'm probably, I'm either going to film it, I'll probably do it Sunday and have it available very soon, like within probably 10 days, before I go to Denver. Can you make the sleeves longer on the dress, please? Yes, you can. There, on this picture, she has long sleeves. Mm-hmm, yep. Come to Phoenix, oh, I'll try. Are your straps soft? My sewable leather straps, they are soft. They're sewable. You don't have to use hardware to sew mine. I know there are straps on the market that are very stiff. Mine are not. Restock on Pink Moon Glow. Happening soon. That should be here very, very soon. Again, we're shooting for April 15th, but soon. So sign up for that restock. It's going to happen. Wow, that was like a quick, quick fire. Quick fire. Do, 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 do. All right, so... Week 14 matchups, Cindy, I restocked two of them this morning in case you want to go have a quick look. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Did I get everything? I like this. Huh? I like this. Right here. Oh, it's Lisa. For men, they're called shants. <laughs> and Ramel needs a pair. I love that. You need a sh you need a shant and a shacket. <laughs> and a shacket, okay. Yes. Oh, Do I have awesome. to make the shacket myself? Yes. Oh. We want you on camera. We're gonna have Ramel's corner. So okay, just post that zip for me so I can edit my order. Yes, will I'll get on it right now. I'm gonna take some pretty awful pictures probably because we're in the store, <laughs> but you'll see what it is. All right, thanks for being here, you guys. I am pepped up and ready for a great weekend and a great day ahead. You have the same, and I will see you next week. Peace, love, sewing.